Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm sick. I'm dying. Oh, I thought I had COVID, but I don't have COVID, so I will be back next week, not in two weeks' time. I just have a really bad case of tonsillitis. Tonsillitis. That's why Rita's on the phone and I've got a fancy little microphone. But, um, yeah, nah, that's why we're going to be releasing a backup episode today. Sort of a miracle that we have one this early into the new season, but very lucky as well. Um, but it's a really, it's a good one. It's a banger. If you like trains. If you like trains or if you live in Melbourne, this one is If you, you like trains, if you like Melbourne, if you live in Melbourne, if you live somewhere completely different, but you like the idea of Melbourne. If, you, if any of those things are you, you will love this episode. It's an absolute banger. And we will be back to our regularly scheduled programming next week. Sounds good. You've done all the talking for me. We will see you guys. Well, no, we'll see you guys right after we stop talking. Backup episode <laughs> starts now. <laughs> this is Reader and Zach, the podcast. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, good work. I was going to forget that. Welcome, this is a backup episode. You but might be thinking, why has all our equipment, equi- equipment? No, first, I think we've got to explain what a backup episode is. Yes. This so it's actually a backup for an episode. We, for some, whatever reason, were not able to make it to the podcast this week. One of us. Someone has died. Definitely. Oh no, you haven't died, but I reckon you've definitely not been able to make it. Oh, actually, you know what? I've actually kind of got a busy month coming up. It could be me. I don't think uh, there is any foreseeable reason why I would miss an episode, except for, well, we still haven't really discussed what we're doing about the fact that I'm leaving the state for two weeks. Yeah. Who knows what we're going to do? These, this could You could actually be hearing this over oh, summer. I got, I got flights mm-hmm. to um, Queensland yeah. uh, with 23 kilos of checked baggage, leaving on New Year's return flights, 160 bucks. With Virgin. Fuck, that's pretty good for yeah. that time of the year. That's It's cheaper than the train. It doesn't make any sense. That's brilliant. I, no, so, yes, so we haven't been able to make it this week? Yes, and it's probably, no, it probably is my fault, honestly. Uh, it could be, because I'm actually planning a holiday in December, so that's three weeks. Mm. The- I mean, last time we were, wait, when was, was last time we released a backup when the thing that we don't talk about was the reason? No, we've released two backups so far. The first backup was the thing that we don't talk about. Yeah, the one that was definitely your fault. The one that was definitely my fault. The second one was the last real episode we released for season two. Right. If you remember what happened around season two. No, not really. Oh uh, well, I'll, it's a, very much an off-topic podcast. Off podcast topic. Anyways, in the back in in the uh, we we used to have a uh, what would you say? See, these things are definitely going to help block out your cracking. Um, we used to have a uh, the audience, gag the audience wants to hear it. for the name of the podcast. It used to be Zach Up Gust in Case. The best pun in history. We can't use that anymore. So it's now Reader and Zach for backup episodes. Unless we, well, we didn't even really try to come up with a different pun. I don't think we can. We, <laughs> we might be able to, but it's too late now. So we have swapped seats and for some reason taken microphone covers off. Yeah, it's just an... Oh, uh, Wait, wait, is that is my audio coming out of the speaker? Yeah, I think I can hear myself coming. I could never hear that from there. It's very. I can hear it from here. I never are heard. Are you it right I, side deaf? I don't know, but I let's didn't. test this because we these backup episodes. We don't have content. We actually do have something planned, but anything goes. Previous backup episodes, we've done fuck all. I'm pretty sure we've walked off set. We had one where we played a game, which was the game where you click the would you rather do this or this button. And then another one where we played the, the, what's the, the higher, ga- or lower higher game. lower game. Anyway, I'm going to hop over to Rita's side and I'm going to test your hearing. Well, no, this doesn't. No, what the fuck are you doing? I was going to, you stay there. I was going to speak into both of your ears. Oh, wait, I didn't realise that's what... I thought I was just going to test if I heard it from there. No. Hello? Hello? Could you tell the difference? Yeah, that one was quieter. Yeah, you are definitely right. No, but that's the one I can hear it out of more now. Anyway, okay. not the point... The, yeah, I just didn't realise that was playing out audio and now it's confusing my brain. It doesn't have to. We can... If we press... If we press this button, then we don't hear it and we only hear the openers, but I prefer knowing that we're recording. Or no, knowing that we can, our microphones are on. Yeah, I just don't like hearing it. It, 
I mean, that's I mean that's pretty good if you can't hear it from here. That's I, good that I'm in that seat. Yeah, I I don't mind doing it when I've got like headphones in, but it just feels weird hearing your voice come out from a speaker. Can you? Because I think it? it's very slightly delayed. It is kind of delayed, but uh, I've it, we've literally been doing this literally since season two. We had this speaker in season two. How did you not hear it in season two? I have never noticed it. This is fuck. <laughs> Anyways. This backup episode, we are doing content that is actually inspired by my brother, Max. Mm. Max messaged me and he goes, Zach, for a podcast, you should um, rank the train lines in Melbourne. And that's what we're doing. Problem is I've looked at it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 train lines. Jeebus, I did not realize there were that many, honestly. I think this might take us two backup episodes. Like, we just do one recording and split it in half. No, because I don't think I'm going to have much to say about some of them. Can you pass me the green one and the black texter, please? I'll tell you what, though. I've got plenty to say about Frankston. <laughs> so, for anyone who doesn't live in Melbourne, probably worth getting up a map for this episode. This, If you don't live in Melbourne or if you've never been to Melbourne, this is not... I mean, we're going to tell stories, but you won't really relate to having opinions on... You might be from somewhere where trains don't exist. They would still know what a train is, sure. They would know what a train is, but they wouldn't understand the whole, you know, culture of trains. That's a pretty good point. The first, the first thing we have to address, before we even get into ranking them, are we putting the Stony Point line on the list? Stony Point... It's technically Metro, isn't it? Stony Point is a... Diesel service that yeah, is... Yeah, it uses the V-Line trains, but it's a metro service. It uses the V-Line trains, but its staff wear metro uniforms and the toilets do not operate and the drink fountains do not operate because there are no toilets and drink fountains on metro services. But Wait, so they just... Got, like, what, what do they do? Do they just put tape over them or something? Well, I don't know. I didn't see the uh, water fountain, but the toilet is locked. Right. So they use... it. And now this is really going into how much of a metro of a train. I, you I are. fucking love that. Like they're just so petty that they're like, oh, because the other trains don't have this, where you just gonna lock it. I think it's just because it's not worth. Like the Stony Point line. Fuck. In my opinion, the Stony Point line shouldn't even exist. But are we putting it on this list? I've never been. Oh, can I've we do a Stony it. Point line episode? I've been on it, but I'm more than happy to do a Stony. I Point would line love to do a Stony Point line episode. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So Wait, is Stony Point within Zone 1 and 2, or is it its own zone? I think it would be within Zone 2, because if you're doing a Stony Point... A certain, now, I, d- I do not condone fare evading, but you don't need to tap off at Stony Point if you're going back on the next service. So you just oh, yeah. tap on and off at Frankston. Not even. Tap on and off in the city. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Um, are we putting it on the list or not? It's a metro. Uh, my argument is it should be on the list because it is a metro line. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. I, I would agree. I would agree. Um, but yeah, more than happy to do a Stony Point episode. So the lines that we have for everyone playing along, uh, get a map, get up your Metro maps. We have Mernder and Hurstbridge, part of the red group. Sunbury, Craigieburn and Upfield, part of the yellow group. Belgrave, Lilydale, Alamine and Glen, Wa- Alamine and Glen Waverley, which are part of the dark blue group. Cranbourne and Pakenham, which are part of the light blue group. Frankston, Werribee and Williamstown, which are part of the green group. And Sandringham, which is the only pink line, and Stony Point, which is green and white. Now, this won't really work because uh, this is a backup episode, but why, why not anyway? If you have your own opinions on these lines, email them into the show, and maybe in a very long time... <laughs> we will do another backup episode where we follow on. Oh, well, I mean, hopefully by then we'll have Stony Point opinions. We could just randomly bring it up on a future episode. We could. I mean, one, we'll see. Once it is relevant, we can bring it up on a future episode. Mm. It would not be relevant. It, no, that doesn't even make sense. Um, oh, yeah. Fun little game. We have to guess when this is coming out and whose fault it is. Like, I think that we do this every backup episode and it literally took us until the 40th minute last time. Who do you reckon's at fault and when do you reckon it's coming out? Your official guess. Early January, me. I'm going to go mid-December. I can win this just by purposely doing it though. The backup episodes are not a game. These are not meant to be good content. The problem is we actually have something planned to this, so it actually might not be horrible content. No, I reckon it would be pretty bad. (laughs) Okay. Do we want to start? Let's start at what we think is the worst line. The worst? Well, I mean, I don't know if I can... Yeah, no, it's got... It's hard because we have... Some of these lines we've ridden a lot more than others. For us, 
both of the blue groups, so Belgrave, blue. Lillydale, Alamein, Alamein, Glen Waverley, Cranbourne and Packham are really relevant to us. So are Frankston. If I had to say which line fucking gets me the angriest, mm-hmm. so I guess that would be the one that I consider the worst. Absolutely Frankston by a fucking landslide. Really? Frankston is an awful train line. Not just because there's often way more crackheads than every other line who are just not enjoyable to deal with at times. But also... It's always, they're doing works, always. Literally. Yeah, always. I can, uh, Frankston, Packenham and Cranbourne or geographically a part of the Caulfield group and they all run through Caulfield. Fuck, there's always works on that. As always between Caulfield and South Yarra, some motherfucker wants to dig up everything. Yeah, I'm glad that um, I only have to travel that line during the week because it was literally re- bus replacements all this weekend. Yeah. And it was the same last weekend as well. And they're really annoying about it too because they'll do works for a few days, then stop doing works and then keep... Why Why can't you just get it all done? No, do you know what really fucks me off about it? The bus replacements they do, go to Burnley. They do mm, bus replacements yeah. from Caulfield to Burnley. Why can't you fucking take me to South Yarra? Why can't you do a bus to the city? If you're going to do a bus replacement... Well, I don't know where they would park the buses if they're at Flinders Street. No, they, what they usually do is they take them to Parliament. Right, right. And that is... A, well, that wouldn't work right now. Because there's protests. Maybe yeah. that's why, yeah. So we are... Oh, yeah, we should tell you guys what day we're recording this. We've just recorded episode 43, and it is the 21st of November, 2021. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, no, Frankston... For works line, reasons, are we putting Frankston 16th? I would definitely rank Frankston last, in in my personal opinion. It just pisses me off so often. I'm pretty happy to uh, leave Frankston that low, because I, yeah, I do have, I do ride the group to Caulfield, and it fucks me off so much. Also, oh no, we haven't, we haven't ridden Frankston, we've ridden um, Packenham. Can I, now this could be really, really hypocritical here. Uh, not hypocritical, um, controversial. Can I put Werribee in 15th? Yeah. I, I have one experience with the Werribee line. I needed to get to Werribee and it was East. It was Good Friday and I was at Southern Cross and they, no one at Southern Cross gave you any announcements. The board said there was a train coming in three minutes. We waited 40 minutes for a train to come. And then we got on the train and they told us literally the board update finally updated. And it said, stopping all stations. We hop on the train. And once the train was moving, this is not a, this is a express service to Werribee. And half the train was like, well, that fucks me over. Mm. And you couldn't do anything about it because you were on an, on an express service. So you ended up in Werribee. Well, I needed to get to Werribee. Uh-huh. But anyone who didn't need to get to Werribee had to get off at Werribee and catch a train So back. it was good for you. It was good for me because it saved time. But yeah, it fucked me off really badly. Well, I don't really... Well, interestingly enough, I technically catch the Werribee and the Frankston line every day because what they now do with That's the trains right. is that the line doesn't originate in the city the Frankston line originates in Werribee and Frankston and the same with the Werribee line. So they just go both ways all the way through. And that's why I reckon they should be the bottom of the, they do not run through the fucking city loop. Yeah. Like that actually pisses me off. Yeah, it is very annoying. Because I live at Flagstaff, so I need to flip. And it means- But it also means that anything shit about the actual train on the Werribee line is going to be the exact same on the Frankston line because they're the same trains. So they're at now equal 15th. Mm. There we go. Well, we've knocked two of them out of the park. That's a pretty good start. We need to be mindful about the time because the camera's going to stop recording. Yes. And it's not often that we're not looking at the, the roadcast. Well, the usually Zach's the one who pays attention to when the camera turns off. Um, because I'm usually in a better view of the camera. And I'll almost definitely not realise. Um, yeah, I don't know if we explained it. We're not... You're sitting in my seat and oh, I'm sitting yeah. in your seat. Yeah, we, we're oppositing everything. And I got germaphobed and wanted to take my mic cover from you because I didn't want your germs getting in my mic cover, which yeah. is half the reason why we're not taking mine... The, we, why we don't Do you have remember mine. which mic cover was yours? That one's mine. I took it. Okay. Um, well... What's next after that? Do you have any... any do, you, do you think anything comes close to those two? 
In terms of shitness, I don't know. I don't have bad opinions about many of the lines. Um, well, okay, so I would like to say that we, while we used the argument that because they don't go through the city loop, they're bad, I want Sandringham to be exempt from that because I really have a soft spot for the Sandringham line. Yeah, Sandringham is a cool line. So I don't want Sandringham to be 14th. I just like Sandringham because it goes along the beach. Exactly. We've got good memories. It was the first one, the first ever train tales we recorded. Mm. Um, I've had um, HSPs at Windsor Station. I wanted to move to Windsor. It just goes along the beach. It's actually really nice. I, yeah. I have a soft spot for the Sandringham line. It's also really fucking short. Like yeah. It takes like... like Half an hour, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, but I... Uh, see, this is a tricky one. Obviously, the lines that I have the most... I mean, this isn't obvious to anyone else. I don't know why I said it would be obvious. But most, the most of the train-related memories I have would be on Belgrave and Lilydale. Exactly. That's the same for me because I have never lived in the city before this year and I used to – my main port of trainness would be on Belgrave and Lilydale, which is where my auntie used to live. But I, have, I really don't ha- – I don't have anything against those lines. No, I, I think – and I don't want to preempt the ending of the episode, but these ones are going to be – they're going to be strong. They're going to be the highest alongside these two. I think, honestly, I'm going... I might I might change this, but I reckon 14th, I would put Alamein. Alamein? Alamein is a shithole of a line. That You know what? I, I love the Alamein line, but the fact that you have to swap it... That's the only... That, well that's, for most of them. That's the only reason. It loses all of its points because you have to change your Camberwell. Yeah, which is sad, but you've got to be harsh. And the fact, some of them, when you catch an Alamein from the city, because some of them in the middle of the day are Alamein, yeah. it's a great, but it's not often that you need to fucking go to Alamein. That's true. That's true. So when you do, I, yeah. I mean, I used to, I used to go to Alamein pretty often, but. I've been to Alamein quite a few times. But well, I've never actually been to Alamein. I've been to Hartwell. I, I rode the line to Alamein once, uh, twice. It's actually pretty fun. I hopped off at Ashburton from memory, which is one before Alamein. So we're doing Alamein as 14th, which I... It's just annoying. It's just re- it's, I think it's, it's sad because it is a, it's a pretty line, yeah. but it is... Mm. Um, also, the Alamein line is where I really wanted to do my experiment. I saw a video... I think it was in the London metro of That's right. someone running from one station to the other and getting on the same train. And I've really wanted to try that for a while. We were going to do that for y- your YouTube channel content. Mm. Um, okay. Because I reckon it would be doable between fucking Riversdale and one of the neighboring uh, stations. It, Willison. Yeah, something like that. I this now this could be this could be a big one and we're knocking another blue group one out which is the ones that we do favor Glenn Waverley can go suck a dick Glenn Waverley sucks a lot of balls because of Hayington station which is the station I and I think it's Hayington it's going to be embarrassing if it's Kuyong the Hayington station is the station that stops inside of St Kevin's high school you know, we really missed out on the opportunity to do this as a tier list. We can do this as a tier list still. Yeah. Like another time. Well, I reckon we should just like take the rankings and make them into tiers. Because everything is better when it's a tier list. Good point. Um, we're also 17 minutes in. It would be a waste of 17 minutes worth of content. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't... Well, we could just have the tiers show up on the video version. Yeah, we can. Um, Glen Waverley. I don't like Glen Waverley because Hangington Station is St. Kevin's. That's the all boys school that's really kind of gotten a good sort of uh, acknowledgement for it being sexist and homophobic and shit. Mm. I don't know if you saw the... Oh, no, you don't have Instagram. There was a trend <laughs> recently where... <laughs> I hate that you don't have Instagram. Um, uh, some old St. Kevin's student uh, broke into his school and he burnt his blazer on campus for a photo shoot. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Um, anyways... There's that. We've been to Glen Waverley together. And for whatever reason, I just remember having a shit experience at Glen Waverley Station. Honestly, any train where a bunch of school kids get on immediately ruins my day. Yeah. And the fact that they're private boys only. Mm. 
Are they the ones that wear the fucking red uniform? No, that's blue, green. Oh, oh those fucking the dick ones, knobs. Yeah, and they got done by Four Corners for having a really sexist chant that was... Uh, uh, I'll bleep it. The chant was... Oh, yeah, that's a big cock. What the fuck? Really, really <laughs> fucked. Anyway, so I want to put Glenn Waverley in 13th. Yeah, okay. Thank you. That's not really fair on the line, but... The, the line has... If the line has... Mate, we're, we're harassing them for... We're going to have to pick out the injustice in some of them. We might as well. All right. Um... I, I'm telling you, do something with the red and orange, the red and yellow group, because I don't want any more injustices done to the blue. Mm. Reader's just having a look at the whiteboard. We've got for the audio listeners, there's a whiteboard with all the names of the line listed. I don't have any opinions really on Packenham Cranburn. Um, I've got some things I want to say about the Packenham those. Will Cranburn be later. Lines. Upfield, I barely have an opinion. See, on. that's the thing. I don't write the. I've got some things to say about the red ones, but I don't have some things to say about the yellow ones. Um, Craigie Byrne, I don't have an opinion on Sunbury. I don't have an opinion. <laughs> I don't have opinions on many of them, to be honest. Hurst, oh, Hurstbridge, I've got a story. Um, I, I'm thinking the the yellow ones are pretty nothing, so I'm thinking they're next. So, do you want to wait for the red, the Hurstbridge ones? Well, I I don't think my yeah I don't think my Hurstbridge story really affects how I would rank it. I don't think I really have much of a video on Hurstbridge either. Well, then let's talk about the Hurstbridge one later. Let's knock through these ones. Um, in terms of yellow, so that's Upfield, Craigieburn, and Sunbury. Um, look, I've never really been a fan that Sunbury line has three foot grays. Mm. Also, the Sunbury line you spend a bit of time on when you're catching the Geelong V line. All their stations are islands in the middle and you got to go under to get to them. Oh, and Tottenham is near where we picked up all the podcast equipment. Yeah. I would like to say that that's pretty shit. I feel like anything... Oh, now, this is going to probably piss piss some people off. I feel like anything that goes to the western suburbs is just shit. Because <laughs> the western suburbs are just shit. Also, in fairness, the western suburbs really are underrepresented. Like, if you think about the fact that the red, blue, light blue, green, and pink groups, you, and as, as I said, you need a map for this episode, uh, they um, all sub- service the eastern, and then you've got half of the yellow and the green. Yeah, I just don't like um, Werribee or that whole line because it just doesn't feel like... We've already literally ranked it last. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck, we've got to deal with Williamstown. I haven't done Williamstown. Well, what do we want to do? Okay, so we've got Tottenham. uh, uh, I was thinking putting that next. What do we want? What's worse, Williamstown or uh, Tottenham, which is where we picked up your... I don't really have much of an opinion on Williamstown. Basically, I well, I hate any line where it takes ages to get out, and that seems like all most of the western lines that go to the western suburbs. Mm. You just go for so long, and you don't feel like you're in the city anymore. Yeah. Also, Williamstown doesn't have anything because it, it it branches like, off really quickly. Like, like it, I swear, everything in the eastern suburbs takes like fifteen minutes to get to on a train, and then you go to Werribee, and it takes like three million years. Yeah. We, you literally are still shitting on Werribee. We've literally placed it last. There is no worse that Werribee can go because it is last. Williams, are we putting Williamstown in 12th for no good reason? Yeah, sure. Williamstown is 12th. We're going to offend so many people. I don't give a fuck. Upfield is 11th because of Tottenham Station. I didn't really like the vibe of it. I don't like how there's nothing. It's in the middle of all these train lines. That's just yucky. I have only... No, I've ne- on the upfield line. I've never been further than Flemington Bridge. I'm oh sure. no, this isn't upfield. Sorry, this is um Sunbury. Sunbury, yeah, okay, yeah, it's shit. Yeah, eleventh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, upfield. I've been. Um, oh, we both got off at Flemington Bridge to do the Red Rooster thing. Uh, I also just used to get off there all the time because it's where Adrian and Zena lived. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, I do think it's cooler because it follows the river. I Is think there a red rooster near there? Yeah, it was the one that did fish and chips. Fish and chips? 
fucking we literally recorded about this. Oh, I don't know. Uh, do we want to put uh, um, look the ones that I don't have an opinion on? I really don't care what order they go in because I have just as a little opinion on all. Hey, of let's them. put Craigie Burn in tenth because we've got no opinion on it. Yeah, we'll I don't stop. know if I've ever even been on the Craigie Burn. I don't think I've been. I honestly don't think I have either. And then upfield in ninth because it's kind. I like that it follows the river. Mm. Cool. We have now got so the from bottom to top. Frankston and Werribee an equal last. Then it's Alamein, Glen Waverley, Williamstown, Sunbury, Craigieburn, and Upfield. Next. It's hard. Which one is it? Hurst, I think it's Hurstbridge. Oh, no. Am I sunburned? I think I'm sunburned. Not really. It, it is like it. the Hurstbridge line. We got stuck at Hurstbridge when we were recording the... Red Rooster thing. Wait, really? We got stuck at Hurstbridge? That's not, not at Hurstbridge, Alfington on the Hurstbridge line. Well, that's pretty crazy because my Hurstbridge related story <laughs> is that I fell asleep on a train to Hurstbridge, woke up there, and I had fallen asleep on the last train, <gasps> and I had to wait there at the station for six hours, and it was fucking freezing cold, and I had no warm clothes. That is so fucking like, well, I lit a fire at the station to keep warm. That is brilliant. Um, my gripe is we were at Alfington recording something. We were literally busy that day and trains stopped and we had to pay $40 to get an Uber from Alfington to Clifton Hill. And while my favourite station of all time, Dennis, can you not? It's going to be so painful for the listeners. Which are still recording, just. Dennis is my favourite station of all time because it's funny. Mm. Who names the station Dennis? Dennis. That Alfington time really pissed me off, and I think that makes it go in eighth. Mm. Below Mernda, which I've, I don't have any experiences from. You used to live on Mernda the Lion. Thomastown. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I, yeah, I used to catch that train. When's this going to fucking stop? I don't know. I'll check it now. We'll be back right after this. Yes. Uh, I used to, yeah I used to live in Thomastown so I rode the majority of the Mernda line like fucking every day pretty much. I used to go to work via like from Thomastown. Still worked in Hyatt. Yeah. Um. Oh, and I also caught the Mernda line earlier this year when I was living in fucking Whittlesea when I had to catch a bus from Whittlesea oh, to Mernda. Right. So I experienced living in a suburb that's not even technically part of Melbourne and therefore isn't connected to our metro. So you have to catch a local bus from Mernda Station to get to Whittlesea. And they're not planning to make Whittlesea a part of Melbourne for like the next at least 15 years or something. That is so fucked. So would you say our experiences in Alfington and your experience in Hurstbridge is better or worse than Mernda? I mean... I would say I would rank Mernda lower just because it is one of those lines where you just end up fucking hating how much time you spend on trains. Okay, so Mernda 8, Hurstbridge 7. Mm. A bit unfair to group both of the red ones, but Mernda 8, Hurstbridge 7. We are now up to... We have these stations left, and I think I've fucked the counting... Belgrave, Lilydale, Cranbourne, Packham, Sandringham, Stony Point. That's f- one, two, three, four, five, six lines, six places. Perfect. Nice. What's next? I reckon we've gotten to the point where Sandringham, we can no longer spare any sort of. We can't spare any sort of sorrow for Sandringham. It no, doesn't. but I. Well, I, what's your opinions on Packham and Cranbourne? I don't really. You don't like them that much. I don't dislike them. Um, well, I like, we, we once took the line. I do remember catching the, the Pakenham line. Uh, so I think maybe safe Pakenham. Cranbourne. I reckon Cranbourne's next. You reckon Cranbourne? Purely because it has nothing to offer once you hit Dandenong. It just moves off and there's three stations and then you hear Cranbourne. It feels like one of those sort of useless. Yeah. I just, no, I just fucking don't really know, think, Yeah. Because whenever I go down the 
um, packing in more cranberry lines, I don't get far. I don't usually don't get far enough for the switch to happen. Well, because it would be very hard for the switch to happen because the switch literally only incorporates three stations. Mm. So statistically, so we they're are basically the same line. So they need to be next to each, to each other. Well, no, rankings. because Pakenham has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine extra stations, and Cranbourne only right. has three. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like we can afford the ability of. I reckon Cranbourne is next, and then Pakenham after, though. But what about Sandringham? Sandringham I... doesn't go through the loop. I'd still rank Sandringham higher. Sandringham wins a lot of points just based on it being cool. Okay, um, this is this is the point of the podcast. Uh, so we're going to go Cranbourne six, Packham making it to the top five. Yeah, I would put. Look, this would be my ranking. I would go Cranbourne, Packham. No, no, don't spoil the rest of it. Okay, okay, yeah, Cranbourne, Packham, Cranbourne, Packham, Cranbourne is in sixth, and Packham is in fifth. We have the top five. They are Belgrave and Lilydale from the dark blue group. We have Sandringham from the pink and Stony Point from the green and white. I think Stony Point. I next. was about to say next Stony Point because Stony Point is just, and I've taken it. It's cool and it's fun because you're on a V-line train. It's a metro line. You get to Stony Point and Adrian can, when we, we could call Adrian because we've done this before on the podcast. It is fun mm. to call Adrian on the backups. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I would. I'm happy putting Stony Point in a four, but even though I've never been on it, but I wouldn't put it higher than that because my main gripe is you have to get to Frankston first. That's true. Yeah, and Frankston is <laughs> the Frankston lowest. is one of the last lines. So considering you're forced to travel on Frankston, it would lose some points. Do you want to call Adrian for yeah, her why opinion? Not? Why not? Uh, wrote. Uh, sorry, this is hard as I have to. Bluetooth connects my phone. And it does rely on Adrian picking up the phone. I will tell you that. Yeah, probably. This is just a bit of... Do this I have to press that button? Uh, yeah. What does it say? Pair. Yeah, yes, you would have to pair that. Thank you for pressing that button. I was just trying... The Roadcaster Pro is now discoverable. Whoa, look, I discovered a Roadcaster Pro. Whoa, was it in the wild? Yeah, yeah, it was. Look, there's a tree. It is really hard because I turned my Bluetooth on and off and now my Bluetooth is stuck off. On. This is really interesting content. Yeah, but it is a backup episode. We never really promised it to be not interesting. There we go. The Roadcaster Pro is connected. Time to call Adrian. Adrian. Please work. Please work. There we go. Here we go. Hello. Hello, Adrian. How are you? You're on the Zach and Rita. No, you're not. Rita and Zach. Oh, the Rita I'm and not? Zach podcast. I I'm. I I feel okay. Okay. <laughs> you feel okay. Well, that's great to hear. <laughs> so we're recording a backup episode. So you've been on these ones before. You don't have to provide anything of interest. This might not. Ever, this might not be released for a long time. Um, however, we okay. did, I just we, we're ranking train lines, and we've gotten to the top four, and we've kind of agreed to put Stony Point okay, in, okay. in fourth. But because I rode the Stony Point line with you, I just wanted to get your opinion and back me up. What would you, what do you have to say about the overall kind of vibe of the Stony Point line? Okay, well, the Stony Point line was quite interesting because the Stony Point line didn't feel like a metro line at all. It was on a single carriage V line train which was really fucking strange. And I, I don't know, I liked it a lot because of the, mainly because of the view you got, I got from the train. It was like quite nice looking out at trees. It was like a real, so thought, real sort of vibe. You didn't, it didn't feel like you were on a metro train. No, it didn't. It didn't at all. And but, like, and like the, the stops as well. Like I haven't seen stops, any stops like platforms on metro stations where, where there's like either no platform at all, or it's just what do you like, mean? There's no like platform. Sh- there was some stuff that just had no platform. Some of them were literally just. It was kind of like dirt. What? Yeah. That's so cool. And the, it, well, the the train line was kind of sunk into the ground, so the ground was at level with the platform. But so you were literally just stepping out onto dirt. Yeah. 
That's sick. Yeah. Oh, I want if we gotta go. We gotta and go on this. W- but what kind of isn't helpful for the Stony Point line is you get to Stony Point and there is actually fuck all in Stony Point. <laughs> so there is literally nothing. It's like a fucking caravan park at a dock. Why yeah. do they have a fucking train line? We have no clue. <laughs> um <laughs> but it yeah, makes no sense. Adrian, in total of all the train lines, would you agree that it is up pretty high? It's one of the better train lines. Well, okay. Have you discussed your top three? Because depending on what your top three is, I, 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 I would say Stony Point could rank higher than four. Belgrave, Lilydale, and Sandringham are the ones that are beating Stony Point. Belgrave is pretty good. Belgrave is pretty good. Belgrave is like number one. Well, Belgrave looks beautiful. Mm. We haven't gotten to that yet. Yeah, we have, we we have not. But no, yeah, I I think I think Stony I would Point. Say, I would say Stony Point is second with Belgrave first. Yeah, so, that's so a you really good. Stony way Point is second. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll take your Look, opinion into I it. Think Stony Point line has has second place um, potential for so many reasons. One of the best things is definitely because it's a single carriage line. It's a V line. Okay. Train. It's a V line. It's a V line that is being leased out by Metro. Our our problem with the Stony Point line is you do have to ride the Frankston line, and I don't want to give you guys any spoilers, but we did rank Frankston last. Frankston is last. That is the shit. Well, okay. equal equal last with Werribee, and because of that, oh, Stone that's because awesome. you. That's that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> you have to ride the Frankston line to get to Stony Point. That does drag Stony Point down. You're right. You're right. Okay. You know what? Now that you've reminded me of that, I'm kind of dragging Stony Point back to fourth. Yeah. I reckon fourth. It's perfect. I do reckon fourth. Well, thanks, guys, for helping us uh, reach a consensus that Stony Point is fourth. <laughs> You're That's welcome. So Enjoy your day. Bye. 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 All right. That was pretty good. Yeah, sick one. So fourth place. Perfect. Top three people. I really didn't think as much thought was going to go into these rankings. I think this has actually been kind of a pretty good episode. This is going to be a pretty good list. You guys are in it for a treat. Imagine waking up and going, fuck, Rita and Zach have released a backup. It's going to be absolute shit. And then you look, you hop on, you treat your ear holes to actually something pretty good. And you find out, in our opinion, what the best train lines in Melbourne are. And we are now up to the top three. And this could be controversial. I reckon Lilydale is third. Now, I was initially thinking that I would consider Sandringham third, but no. Yeah, I think you're right, mainly because Lilydale loses a lot of points over Belgrave because it doesn't go somewhere nearly as cool. Yeah, Belgrave goes somewhere nearly as cool. And wasn't, isn't Belgrave the one that used to have a pub at the end of the line? Well, they've got fucking Puffing Billy, so... Yeah, that's true. Belgrave, Station, pub. Look, it was either one of them. And if if it was Lilydale, that's going to really help Lilydale. There used to be a pub at the end of the line at one of the stations. I think it might have been... What, what do you mean, at, like, at the station? At the station, that's and it got shut. It only operated on Fridays, but it got shut down earlier on in 2021. Early Dale. Did it like just go out of business or did they shut it down? They shut it down. VRI Lily Dale. There is a hidden pub at the end of the Lily Dale line and it is on the Lily Dale station platform. I'll try and find a photo. I'm so mad I never got to go to that. Look, I mean, it's screenshots from a TikTok. You can tell. Holy shit, Lilydale Station Pub. Yeah, there you go. So, but it's closed. That's really sad. Imagine having a pub on your line and closing it. Well, yeah, you can't really win any points if it doesn't exist anymore. So, so. third? Third. And then we have discussed it. But I think it is quite fair to say which one we're putting in second. Yeah. It's yeah, the yeah. Sandringham yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Sandringham line is really nice. It's it loses points in it doesn't go through the city loop. What? Shit! Neither of us looked at the camera, and the camera's been dead. <laughs> and we're back. Um, I've got to re- adjust the camera. Rita, explain what happened. Uh it ran out of space on the SD card, and now then Zach put in a new SD card, and it was locked. And now I'm wondering why SD card locks exist. Okay, uh, so while you do that, we're talking about the Sandringham line. 
Sandringham line doesn't run through the city loop. That really does not help the Sandringham line. It is quite short. And while a short line isn't a bad thing, it's not the greatest of things. You do kind of enjoy having a lot. Like a long train ride is actually kind of fun. Look, Sandringham is a cool line. It is. And for it to make it to second on the official Rita and Zach rankings. You can only win so many points for being cool. And Stony Point has shown us that. Exactly. But the reason that I would rank Belgrave first is because you know, I just got like a shitload of memories. Like most of most of my best memories from the Belgrave line. Well, that's good. Also, and well, also Belgrave is also goes like a lot of the line isn't cool, but it goes to a really cool place. And you could you could argue that these are a bit biased. These are not the official. They're not the. These are our opinions. Yes. And it just so happens that we have a lot of memories associated with the Belgrave line. Again, my auntie used to live on the Belgrave line. I go to university on the Belgrave line. Belgrave has a wizard. That's right, it does. And we've talked mm. about that. Um, have we? Have we talked about that? I don't know, but there's a wizard. A- no, you know what? Hamish and Andy talked about it once in one of their remembering episodes. Really? Oh, uh, you're not going to be able to find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. But- Anyways, you used to live at Laburnum Station, which is where we first started recording season two of the podcast. Um, you know, it's just a pretty memorable line. So I'll put a sc- picture on screen of the Belgrave wizard. All in all, I think Sandringham second, Belgrave first. No really disputing that, unfortunately. Yeah. And there you have the official Zach and Rita listing of lines. Now. Well, I'm just thinking, I'm thinking we might just read through them just so everyone. Yeah. In first, we have Belgrave. Wait, are we going backwards? Oh, back, I can go backwards? Yeah. Equal last, Frankston and Werribee. We then have Alamein. Glen Waverley is in 13th and Williamstown is in 12th. Then the entire yellow group goes Sunbury, Craigieburn and Upfield in that order, 11, 10, 9. Then the entire red group, Mernda and Hurstbridge, Mernda 8, Hurstbridge 7. Then it gets to Cranbourne and Pakenham, Cranbourne 6, Pakenham 5. Stony Point comes in 4th, the top 3 consists of Lilydale in 3rd, Sandringham in 2nd and the winner is Belgrave. Now, if your opinions differ, don't worry, not everyone can be right. We Correct. are right. We are right. Well, yes, we are right. And we are entitled. Oh, we're certainly not left. Oy! Oy! <laughs> we can't do a good high five on the podcast. No. Um, And I think that might be the end for this week's backup episode. We managed to somehow reach to 40 minutes. Yeah, that's pretty surprising. Was that good? I think that was pretty good. What did you think? Let us know in the YouTube comments or just let us know somehow. Decide your best way to let us know. Let us know. Um. I, we, I don't, honestly don't think it was bad. I think it was pretty good, especially for people who like trains. And if you don't like trains... Then that's your own problem. But we love trains, so... If, if you don't li- like trains, your life must be pain. Well, if you don't like trains, then you haven't been run over in an ASDF movie. If you don't like trains, you're fucking insane. Oh, I didn't even mention, I'm wearing the PTV hoodie that you got me in season one for my birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Mm. But it's soon to be outdated. How so? Well, the Metro Tunnel is going to cut right through the middle of it. Oh, I'll have to get you a new one. Oh, I don't think I need a new one. <laughs> I think you do. You need the updated one. <laughs> well, if you're not going to surprise me with it, can I provide you with a high quality version of the map so I can actually read it next time? Is that uh, low quality? Well, if you look at it, you can't read it. There is a high and a low quality. So this is a quite a low quality. I swear you could read those when I... Got it. Nah. And, but it's not your fault. How were you to know to... Uh, so the problem is... I mean, I tried to find a high quality version and I couldn't. That's the issue. The only available version on the internet is a pretty shitty image. If you download the PDF of the map, which is fucking massive, convert it to a JPEG on Photoshop... <laughs> of course you've done that. <laughs> then it is a really high quality. And I feel like, who knows if the printing of the jumper would be able to suffice to it. Mm. Well, yeah, I was honestly worried when I ordered that, that it might just not have worked at all because of how small everything is. It works pretty well. I'm not complaining. I'm going to be honest. I'm not complaining. Mm. But I reckon that brings us to an end of uh, backup three. Oh, on the new one, we could have the rankings on the map. We could. Mm. Considering 
Yeah. <laughs> we could sell it as merch. Hell yeah. <laughs> we are not selling it as merch. One day. One maybe, day we could. Maybe one day. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. Do you want to do the... No, 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 no. You don't press it. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Thanks for listening. You can keep in touch with the show anytime by emailing us, Show at gmail.com. You can find us, Zach and Rita Show, on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. All right, see you guys next week. <laughs>